So this particular poem was the hardest poem I've ever had to write. Uh, so, you know, I tweeted out like everyone, you know, give me like a one word and I'll write a poem. And the word that I got back was McKinley, like my, you know, that which is my name. And I'm like, oh, all right, whatever. This would just be like easy like the rest of them. So first I start writing and I was trying to be real clever, like about, I don't know, using credits to tell a story. But then I'm like, those credits don't define me. So let me just do it from, from the heart. So this is what I wrote. Read it in like a poet's voice, like a cool Edgar Allan Poe. Like you're Edgar Allan Poe right now. Nevermore, nevermore. Right. The provocative. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We need right, silence I'll, in the room here. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm going to read it like Edgar Allan Poe. All right, here nice. This might be the hardest thing I'll ever write. We'd rather focus on the next. You and I are cut from the same cloth. It seems arrogant to self project. But I'll press on because somewhere here I'll start to find my groove. On the dance floor of my life, I'm blessed to be comfortable in my shoes. We all sing the blues, perhaps too long. We must focus on the things we can change. Like when my granny died, no more tears to cry. It was unfiltered anger that remained. Fury gave way to fire and commitment smoldered to the core. My passion became a raging inferno, disintegrating destiny's door. Firefighters called content tried to sway me from advancing further. I was already too far down the hallway of faith. Their screams were simply idle murmurs. Ascending up the staircase to save the child called my broken dreams, an unescapable peace fell upon me saying, have no fear, simply believe. So I pressed through the smoke and embers, you know, the gossip and the rumors. Behind the clouded air, haters stand and stare, you gotta cut them out like tumors. Leaving them behind and pressing towards the mark that's closer than before. Not certain how we'll escape this building called fate, but my calling I could no longer ignore. Nowhere near the top of this metaphorical construction, but I'm humbled to be on my way. Not certain where it ends, because before I had no clue about today. But I trust in the one that is able, order my steps like one, two, three. I never believed, if I never believed in myself, I know he always believed in me. So that's, yeah. I might cry right now. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know Let's about that. Let's give him a round of applause. That was impressive. <laughs> stop it. That was very good. Stop it, stop it.